Hi, Bruce from Safari, and this is a shout out to people that want to upgrade their caravans or RVs with uh, lithium batteries. Uh, if you're not aware, from November the 18th, it's illegal to have a battery like this inside a caravan or an RV for a new installation. If you've already got it installed, it can stay there. But if you add a battery to it or make any electrical change inside, uh, it will not be legal, cannot be inside the structure. Now, there's a reason for this, is that if the RV or the caravan catches fire, the authorities want to be able to access the lithium externally from outside the caravan without opening the door, getting access on the inside. Now, I see our friends at Enerdrive published a document that said it'd be legal to put this under the bed, but you'd be a brave person to do that, and it's totally against the safety factor that the authorities are wanting to do. However, this is a 200 amp lithium battery. It's got a very low BMS uh, charge rate, 50 amps, and uh, the discharge rate here, I see it's published at 100 amps for 120 minutes and less, uh, more for less time. But at Safari, we're releasing our new non-lithium battery. It's a zero iron, we're calling it battery. There's no lithium in it at all. And this can go under the bed. That's a 250 amp and that's a 100 amp. So these can go inside. And uh, they're made up of ions uh, principally with sodium, but there are other ions in there as well. No lithium, absolutely perfectly safe. No thermal runaway in any shape. Same weight as lithium, and that's a 250 amp with a 250 amp B BMS, even bigger than the 300 amp hour uh, Enerdrive, which only has a 200 amp BMS in it. So this will charge at 250 amps and discharge at 250. So one battery here is enough to run a 3000 watt uh, Victron inverter. So the 100 amp down here is similar, 100 amp charge discharge rate. Both of these have got Bluetooth and uh, we've got them here now on test. We'll have stock before the 18th of November. Uh, the voltage range on this is higher than normal. Uh, not so much on the low side, but on the high side goes up to 15.9. Uh, fully compatible with Victron, but I'm not sure about the other brands of chargers, but we'll be testing it and you'll see that in the next few days. I'm going to run the 3000 with the 3000 induction off uh, one of these batteries. So stay posted to watch our videos and I'm sorry about that, Mr. Red Eye. Thank you.